Hello everyone and welcome back. It's fantastic to have you all on board for this again. Um, I hope you've all had a wonderful Easter and enjoying this absolutely glorious sunshine. Well, today we're in for a very special treat. Um, Richard Prince, one of our dear choristers and former music director of the choir, has written the most beautiful arrangement of the well-known folk song, The Turtle Dove. Uh, it's quite a lovely set and some beautiful chords and a lovely melody. A few tricky um, parts in the melody, but we'll get through this and it'll be great for you to learn um, a completely new setting for you and for me. Um, so let's begin with some exercises. I suppose we've got to clear the cobwebs after the Easter break and all the Easter eggs. So let's start with some descending scales humming, five note scales, and we're going to move down to humming and then opening to an R vowel at the bottom. We'll do a few of these and then we'll do the same with E vowel and O. Just getting some forward sounds. Just making sure you're sitting properly. Um, shoulders relaxed back. You maybe want to do a few of these movements just to get in position. And then we're ready to go. Okay, so going down. Three breath. this to to oh. Okay, so we're going to do this quick fire, go up the piano and back down. But obviously, not all the way. Try the same thing with different vowels, you can go through them again. But I'd like you to go now to A vowel, going back to E, um, and we'll do this up again and back down. Um, you might need to um, take a moment between these. I, f I do find that you feel slightly sort of dizzy after taking these sort of fast breaths, and it might take you a while to get used to doing this again. So we start E, R, three, four. Well done, well done. Okay, so now I'd like to have a little stretch, just move around one more time. 
and we're going to rock our heads from side to side. And I'd like you to know to pull up the music for this song. I think this may take us a little longer than some of the other songs because I think a lot of the other tunes would be more familiar. So while you get your songs, I'd grab a pencil so as you can mark in some breathing marks as well. And let's start to take this melody part. I'm going to do um, the ver um, the version in E minor. Um, there'll also be other versions um, which we can send to you as well. So this is your starting note. <clears throat> I'll sing through the melody and then you sing it back. Fare thee well, my dear, I must be gone. Two, three. Fare thee well, my dear, I must be gone. And leave you for a while. And leave you for a while. If I roam away, I'll come back again. It's a little tricky one, we've come from the F sharp to the F natural there. So just I'll just play that one more time so you can hear it. Okay, let's try that. One, two, three. If I roam away, I'll come back again. And I roam ten thousand miles, my dear, though I roam ten thousand miles. So let's go from though I roam ten thousand miles. On bar, uh, up to bar ten. One, two, three. Though I roam ten thousand miles, my dear, Though I roam ten thousand miles. Well done. Okay, <clears throat> let's try the whole of that verse. You notice across that there's some um, very clear dynamics. And also I shape off some of the phrases. Fare thee well, my dear, I must be gone. Maybe if you get a moment, just speak to the, the poem. It's a beautiful poem. And you can play with it and think about the inflections and where you personally would put the accents and where you maybe you want to press um, on certain words and maybe back off on certain other words. So let's go from fare thee well. One, two, three. Fare thee well, my dear, I must be gone and leave you for a while. If I roam away, I'll come back again. And I'll roam ten thousand miles, my dear, though I roam ten thousand miles. Okay, going on. So fair though art I, bonnie lass, so deep in love am I. Let's try that, so fair. One, two, three. So fair thou art, my bonny lass, so deep in love am I. Next phrase. But I never will prove false to the bonny lass I love. Just try that, it's a little tricky bit. One, two, three. But I never will prove false to the bonny lass I love. One more time, one, two, three. But I never will prove false to the bonny lass I love Till the stars fall from the sky, my dear Till the stars fall from the sky Let's go from till the stars One, two, three the stars fall from the sky, my dear, till the stars fall from the sky. Okay, let's try that verse. One, two, three. So fair thou art, my bonnie lass, so deep in love am I, that I never will prove false to the Let's try that 
that phrase, the sea will never run dry. One, two, three. The sea will never run dry, my dear, for the rocks never melt with the sun. But I never will prove false to the bonny lass I love. Let's try that phrase, but I never, one, two, three. But I never will prove false to the bonny lass I love, till the all things they, oh, sorry, my fault. Till all these things be done, my dear. Let's go from till all these things. Sorry, I slipped then. One, two, three. Till all these things be done, my dear. Till all these things be done. Okay. Um, let's try that last phrase one more time till all these things till all these things one last time and then we run that verse from the sea will never run dry so till all one two three till all these things be done my dear till all these things be done okay let's go from the sea will never one, two, three. The sea will never run dry, my dear, for the rocks never melt with the sun. But I never will prove false to the bonny lass I love, till all these things be done, my dear. from a making a moan for the loss of his love. Let's do the whole of that verse. Notice it um, as well in this one, this verse is piano, and also notice again there's a little rift at the end of the verse. One, two, three. Oh, yonder does sit a little turtle dove. He does sit on yonder high tree. I'm making a moan for the loss of his love. As I I think it's an absolutely beautiful setting and it's so wonderful to um, be given the opportunity to work on this. Right, let's have a go then um, with you singing along. I'm going to still play along the melody for this time, um, but I will then attach a separate accompaniment um, to the song so you can try it. But for, I think for a lot of you, just for now, just so you can still get used to the melody and it's still quite fresh in your minds, they might need still need the support of the piano. So I'm going to play in some of the harmonies, but still emphasize the melody for you all. So let's have a run through this. Pretty well, my 
Thank you very much. Well, thank you Richard actually for giving this to us. It's a beautiful song. I hope it's something actually that maybe Richard might consider arranging into four parts with the coming ones so we could um, sing it with the choir at some point at one of our summer concerts. Hint, hint. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that session. I was wanting to do something in an English song and I was chatting to Richard and over the holidays he's written quite a lot of songs. So this is really lovely to able to do one of his. So next stop we're going to do some um, jazz. So I hope you enjoy this session. I'll send out some separate company ones to go with this as well and send you all my best and I can't wait to actually the day when we can all be together again. Bye bye. <laughs> 